All right, Wolfpack, happy Tuesday coming up, Wad Talk. Um, wanted to continue the longer AMRAPs uh, just to get some longer exposure, but um, as you've noticed over the last couple weeks, the workouts are getting very, very intense. So I wanted to also give us just a little break um, in the middle of the week here from kind of trashing the bodies too much. Um, that way we can still get good intensity out of the other sessions that are a little bit more crossfit -y. So Tuesday is still a really, really good opportunity to get a great workout in, uh, improve our overall fitness and our endurance, and also um, work on pacing. Okay, These long AMRAPs are always about how well you can pace yourself personally, uh, not go out too fast, and maintain a good solid state for as long as possible. Um, avoid the fall off and then hopefully save a little bit in the tank um, for the end to make a solid push the last couple minutes, okay? So we've got rowing burpees and jump rope, so a very uh, bodyweight cyclical workout. So um, we want to make sure that we are, are picking a good row calorie for us, a good burpee count for us, and a jump rope count for us to make sure we're not extending time on one specific movement um, and we're able to rotate through still a good amount of rounds here, okay? So... Uh, the way I see these numbers, um, they're good numbers that kind of push the envelope a little bit as far as rep count. Um, a little bit longer row than normal uh, for multiple rounds, a little bit longer burpee set for multiple rounds. So good opportunity to work on some, some bigger volume on these, on these movements in a longer time domain. So uh, 30 for the guys, 24 for the ladies. Okay, uh, Ideally, this is going to be two minutes or less the entire time. Originally starting off the first few rounds, hopefully it's a little bit faster. Okay, If we're holding somewhere for guys around... 1,000, 1,100 calories per hour to start. It's going to take somewhere around 90 minute or 90 seconds to two minutes. So I think that's a very appropriate time frame. Um, we obviously want to make sure that we row at a pace every single round that we can get through it quickly, but not smoke ourselves because the big bulk of the workout is obviously going to be the burpees. Okay, 20 bar facing burpees. Normally we're doing 10 or 15, right? And we get to the last few reps of those rep counts and they seem to get pretty tough. Now we've added more reps. So we have to make sure that we're working on burpee efficiency, right? We Maybe we step back or jump back, and then we do a good step up where we're able to breathe the whole time and jump efficiently. So we don't want to smoke these too early. Um, if anything, I would say slow these burpees down a little bit from what you think you should to make sure that we don't spike the heart rate too high because you're going right into the jump rope, which is obviously jumping. It's a bit more of a explosive movement, right? And that can jar the heart rate up a little bit. So um, be smart on these burpees. Take them a little slower than you think. Because the workout's really, really going to slow down um, if the burpees slow down a lot, okay? We can usually row at a decent pace, get through calories even when we're tired. Um, jump rope, 60 double under shouldn't be a long set. Um, and so the burpees are really going to make or break the workout. So make sure we're pacing those, okay? Um, so a couple minutes on the burpees I think would be very ideal. So we put those two together. That's about four minutes. And then we've got 60 double unders with uh, some breaks in there if we need to can be around a minute. So we're looking at five minutes around to start. And I think that's very appropriate, something we would love to hold for uh, multiple rounds. So a good, a good goal would be for four rounds, right, around every five minutes. Um, I think this is pretty doable as long as we pace it right from the beginning. And obviously if we save a little in the tank at the end, we can sprint through the burpees, uh, hold on to bigger double under sets if we can. So um, again... Great workout in the middle of the week to kind of break up the weighted stuff, um, the, the tension on the body from weights and from dynamic movements, and we can slow it down a little bit just with some good endurance. So I hope you guys are excited for this because it's a great opportunity to, to obviously improve our, our CrossFit skills without doing CrossFit and crushing the body. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoy that. And then we've got a Tabata. This might be new for some people. It's old school CrossFit. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of a movement. It's usually eight sets, but you know me, I like to go above and beyond. So we're going to do 10 sets, but I'm a gentleman, and I gave you guys a rest after the fifth round. So you actually get a minute and 10 seconds rest between rounds. So just some uh, furthering of our pushing and pulling here. We're obviously pulling with the rower. We're pushing with the dumbbell or with the burpee. So we're going to do some dumbbell renegade row. So how this works is you're going to 20 seconds on. You're going to do two dumbbells on the ground. You're going to do a push-up. Then you're going to do a row. You're going to do a push-up. Then you're going to do a row. Do that for 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds, and we'll repeat that for 10 rounds, okay? So just some good accessory work um, to further the, the movements and obviously strengthen these, these two positions. So um, very beneficial day. I hope you guys uh, all show up and have a good time with it. Um, if you have any questions below or you need pacing strategies, uh, comment below or ask your coach. Other than that, have a great workout. See you in the gym. Later, Wolfpack.